All right, guys, it's time to go over my May empties. Welcome back, I'm Shannon, and this is The Wonderluster, where each week we tackle topics that will help you feel more sparked so you can lead a life of adventure on your own terms. I can't believe I'm already recording this video because I was really, really late on my April empties, and now I'm trying to get ahead on my May empties because I'm gonna be recovering from surgery for the month of June, so I can't dork around this month, so we're gonna get right into the empties. If you've been following along on this channel, you would know that I am actually on a shopping ban for 2019, which means I cannot buy anything that is not essential to my survival. And I have to work through all of the many, many products I already have on hand instead of buying new things. So whatever lipsticks, eyeliners, mascaras, foundations, shampoos, or whatever else I started the year with, I have to use them until they're used up. So even if I don't like a product or absolutely love a product, like right now I really hate the mascara I have on hand, it's really annoying. I have to use it up before I can replace it. So that goes and flies in the face of how I used to live my life is that I would just aimlessly wander the beauty aisles of my grocery store or go to Sephora and buy whatever I wanted, which meant that I had a ton of excess in my inventory. I had like five neutral palettes. I had way too many lipsticks in the same or similar shades. And I wasn't really cognizant of what I had in my medicine cabinet for beauty and skincare routine or what products really did the best for me. So this year is a year of excess exploration and learning so I can really learn about what's in my cabinet, what I'm spending my money on, and really a beauty and shopping routine that makes sense for me. All right, so we're gonna get directly into the May empties. It's a very light month. And um, surprisingly, I feel like I've I got through so much makeup in the last couple months that this is a surprisingly light month. So we're gonna get started. All right, so first item on the chopping block is actually a gift I got from a really cool adult summer camp or a weekend camp for women called Camp Drunken Arrow, which is no longer a thing, but this is actually a gift I got in my welcome basket. And this is from Scratch Farms. And it's a local producer here outside of San Antonio in Bernie, and this was such a delicious scrub. This is a homemade body scrub, sugar lemon drop, and I absolutely loved this product. It smelled so good, and it was so moisturizing because I have really dry skin that um, I love this that I could get out of the tub or the shower and not have to put on any extra lotion. So a good oil body scrub, whether it's a salt scrub or a sugar scrub, is something I always like to have on hand, but I've had this product for well over a year, and I was really happy to get worked through. This is a product you've probably seen me talk about and I know it and I love it and I use it all the time. This is Witch I Love Your Hair and I've been trying to be on the curly girl method for almost a year now. I think I started in August and it's now end of May. Um, and so this is a great product for refreshing your hair whether you have curly hair or straight hair. It smells super good, it has essential oils inside and it's really good that like your first day of curls, your hair always looks great, but the second, third day, you probably need a refresher. So this is actually day two of my curls and I had to do a quick refresh before I recorded this video and I absolutely love this product and the gal who produces it is super sweet and I just love her to pieces. I actually ordered this when I ran out of my last product and I ordered three bottles at a time, which I typically don't do, but because if I have something shipped, I would rather have a couple so I don't have to pay for shipping, but all other products that I do replace, I buy one at a time in the rules of my shopping ban so I don't get into that hoarding mentality again of just over, <laughs> like getting way too many lipsticks and things like that. But for anything I have to purchase, and like for this one, um, I will buy like three at a time just to save on shipping. And so I actually got this and a travel size bottle that I can take with me to Jacksonville, but I worked through a whole bottle of this in like a month and some change. So I know this is a product that's on heavy rotation and I use several times a week, so worth every penny. It seems like every single month I talk about something from the Alba line, and this month I'm really heavy on skin and hair care products, but this is the Alba Botanical uh, Moisturizer that I've had for some time. This was the Hawaiian Oil Free Moisturizer Refining Aloe and Green Tea. I've had this one, I bought this on a clearance sale on one of the dot-com sites I usually shop at, and got it like 50% off, and I bought two or three of them which I probably shouldn't have done, but um, I finally got to the end of this product. It took me about a month and a half to work through all of this moisturizer. So lesson for the future, I mean, I got a great deal on this. It was 50% off, but otherwise I don't need to buy two or three at a time because it does take me a significant amount of time to work through this product. I don't need to hoard this. It's fine. All right, so I do have two makeup products this month, which is good. I actually worked through two of my Mary Kay products. I have the uh, Ivory Two Mineral Powder Foundation right here. 
um, which is great. I use this as kind of a touch up, you know, if I have to go out at night or I have too much oil. I do like the mineral powder foundation, but my one gripe with this is that there's still product I can see in the tub and I like tried to get it out and I smacked the heck out of it. But like, I just can't, maybe it's the holes are clogged or something, it doesn't disperse very well, but like I just couldn't get the end of the product out. So that's something I've seen with all of my Mary Kay mineral powder foundations, but that's neither here nor there. I did uh, replace it with my Mary Kay uh, friend of mine that sells Mary Kay and I did buy two of those to replace this one because again, shipping costs are what they are and I wanted to save her some money because she doesn't charge me shipping and I appreciate that. So I do have a replacement for this one already in my arsenal. Um, this one I don't have a replacement for and probably should have thought it through. This is a Mary Kay Ivory One Sheer Mineral Pressed Powder, which I'll typically use this one for a touch up like under my eyes or on my chin. And it's pretty light. It's, you know, this is like an ivory two, a darker ivory, and this is a lighter one. So I use this one for like contouring and things like that. But um, yeah, out of this one too. This one took me forever. I must have had this one for over a year. So probably shouldn't have uh, kept that one so long. All right, final product. I told you this was a light month. This is actually one more hair care product. This is a Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Hold and Shine Moisture Mist. Here we are, let's focus on that puppy. There we go. So this one I actually bought, um, and it's got a little bit of product left, which I can't seem to get to the, again, can't seem to get to the bottom of. This I actually bought, um, when did I buy this? If I did Curly Girl, started in like August time. I bought this around that time when I went balls to the wall bonkers and buy all new products for everything. I'm not sure if I would buy this one again. It didn't really seem to do the job. I prefer the Witch I Love Your Hair. And I'm also trying the Deva Curl Shine Spray, the finishing spray. So I think I'll stick with those. I do otherwise love Shea Moisture products in general. They're cruelty free. They're usually certified organic and um, they're ethically sourced and sustainably produced usually. So I love this brand in general. Um, maybe I'll try other things in their line. I've heard great things about their shampoo and conditioners, but for right now I have a Deva Curl Shine Spray that I need to work through because like I said, I went kind of crazy <laughs> last year when I switched over to the Curly Girl method. Um, and so I'm just gonna reel this in and I will not be replacing this product. It wasn't my favorite and I have plenty of other things I need to use up. Whew, all right guys, that was super fast, right? I didn't have a lot of product this month. I had, what, two hair products, two skincare products, and two makeup products, so a total of six. Not too shabby, but it was a light month, and I worked through some bulky products, but not a lot of the little stuff this month, so it makes my May recap pretty easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, yeah, guess that's it, all right. All right, guys, thank you so much for spending your time with me this month. If you're doing a shopping ban of your own, I would love to hear from you. How is it going for you? Have you just kicked one off or are you in the midst of it like I am? I would absolutely love to hear from you and see how your shopping ban or your decluttering in general is going because I always find your comments to be absolutely fascinating and I read them all. So I hope you'll chime in below. And uh, you know, for the month of June, I will be going in for kidney surgery. So by the time you see this, I may be recovering. I'm not sure when this video is actually gonna hit the interwebs. So I hope you send some good vibes vibes my way because I need all the good vibes I can get. And uh, I don't know when I will be recording my next videos either because I'm just gonna take recovery as it comes and just take it day by day. So until I see you guys, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your good vibes. And thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I hope you know how much it means to me to have you with me on this journey. So with that being said, guys, have a great rest of your week. Stay beautiful, stay sparked, and I will see you soon. Bye guys.